Good morning, Comstock High School. Today is Thursday, February 22nd, and this is Jay Disley Dog bringing you today's uh, announcements. Watch out for the word of the day, ossified, meaning change into bone. For today's lunch, you will have the choices of sweet and sour chicken, meat lovers flatbread, and crispy fish fillet sandwich. All EFE and EFA applications are due March 2nd to Mr. Cotter. Also, if you're interested in trying out for the Comstock Baseball Program, please sign up in the Athletic Office by March 1st in order to be eligible to become part of a great Comstock tradition. There will be Softball Open Gym this Sunday, February 25th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. If there are any questions for students, come see Ms. Simpson in room 203. The next planning meeting for the prom is scheduled for Tuesday, February 27th. All juniors are welcome to help. Please plan to meet in Ms. Miller's classroom right after school on the 27th. Graduating class of 2018, that's us. Here are some imp imperative information. Senior and baby pics, Megan Payne needs elementary photos and pictures with three or more people from our school. Email these pictures to Mrs. Gruder at grudercc at comstockps.org or give them to Megan. Prom, April 28th, along with Senior Oscar on May 12th. Now, let's go to weather with Samuel Perry. And by Perry, I mean Dyer. Thanks, Jamie. Today is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 40 and a low of 33. Friday is going to have light showers and a high of 43 and a low of 33. Saturday is going to be showers and high of 43 and a low of 35. So, make sure to collect all that water, though, because Donald Trump might take it from you. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Big S. Hey, have you met the new science teacher? Well, we're going to bring you down to him with Nick with an interview with Mr. Gray. Good morning, Comstock High School. We are here today with a new teacher, Mr. Gray. How are you doing, sir? Good. So, um, what do you teach, man? Oh, I teach uh, of science and environmental science. All right, so um, what exactly do you have your degree in? Uh, okay, my degree is in of science with a chemistry minor. Nice, all right. So, um, when you were a kid, is that what you thought you were going to do necessarily? Heck no. <laughs> uh, I actually thought about firemen, policemen. I actually started uh, after high school uh, military, so law enforcement. And then respiratory therapy, um, which is dealing with uh, you know, high-risk uh, patients with breathing. Right. Um, kind of fell into teaching accidentally. All right. So where are you from? I'm actually from Bangor, Michigan. Oh, wow. Okay. So um, what do you want to say to any of the people at Comstock High School? What, what should they know about you? Um, well, kind of what you, what you see is what you get. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Straightforward man here. Yeah. All right, Mr. Grays, welcome to All Comstock. Right. Thank you. Yep, back to you guys. <laughs> and that's What's up, Comstock High School? I am here after school in my room, and uh, I just want to let you guys know it's not Mr. Grays with an S. In fact, it is Mr. Gray. So if you go up to him and say, Mr. Gray's, I don't want him slapping me upside the head, okay? Thanks, Bo Dizzle. Now let's go down to Cotter's Corner with the <laughs> Jimmy Cotter. Hello, wonderful people of Comstock High School. I have a couple of announcements for you today, so buckle up and listen in. First and foremost, March 27th, it's a Tuesday heading up to Saginaw to a take a campus trip to Saginaw Valley State University. Um, we are eligible to take 40 students up. Priority is going to be for 10th through 12th grade, but we are willing to take all grades. If you're in good academic standing and good attendance standing, uh, make sure if you're interested, get one of these from me. We'll be going March 27th. Next thing, for 10th and 11th graders who are interested in engineering, in the field of engineering, I have a great summer um, experience uh, possibility for you up at Michigan Tech in the UP at, in Houghton, Michigan. Um, it is a summer programming. Um, I have two different possibilities. So if you are a 10th uh, or 11th grade student and you're interested in getting on a college campus this summer, come see me about these programs. Again, for all engineering minded folks. Finally, in the heat of scholarship season, scholarship deadlines are coming up very, very soon. Many of them are due March 1st, including the CalFound scholarships and the GRBS scholarships. So seniors, please, please make sure that you are checking the Google Classroom for all upcoming scholarship deadlines. 
Make sure you're getting your Kalamazoo Community Foundation scholarships soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Cotter. We appreciate you. Now let's go down to Comstock Karaoke. Uh, your girl Imani M. Your boy Barkwani. Bringing you another Comstock Karaoke. Let's get it. <laughs> Y'all, hold up. I think there's another song I want to listen to. Me too. I want to get down to this song. Something like trendy, it. something that's popular. Yeah, right you know. Now. Yeah. I like this song. Oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh okay. See you. Uh huh. Okay, y'all. I know, I know, I know we having fun. But you know, I think we out of time. Yeah, we are. Sadly. Yeah, girl. So we just want to pay appreciation to our special guest, Samantha, Samantha. the one and only Mick Elrath, y'all. Yes. Show us some love. Yes. Come on, stand ovation. Get out your seats. Come on now. <laughs> and then Holly, Anna, Nicole. Yes, Holly. Hi. This is being a girl, Imani, and... Your boy, Varkwan. On our newest segment, Comstock Karaoke. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Imani Varquan and Holly. If you have any news that needs to be sent out, please contact any of us here at the WBNC or email us at WBNC at ComstockPS.org. This has been Long Jam Silver on the WBNC, the White and Blue News Crew. See, see you later.